and we're going to kind of explore the element of design line. All right, now zoom out again. To do that, hold down Alt and scroll and move your screen so you can see the screen. Now we're going to actually talk about line. Uh, remember a line is a marker mass longer than it is wide. Let's grab the pen tool and let's explore line a little bit. Line is used to lead the eye across the page and so we're going to use our pen tool and learn how to use that as we talk about line. If I were to click you'll see the word anchor pop up. Every time you click with your mouse you create a new anchor. So if I click here, then I'm going to create another anchor, and so on, and so forth. Now you might say, wait a minute, I thought we were creating a line. Well, we are creating a line, but it is filled. So if you want your line to not have a fill, then you need to change it in your color picker. Again, I have a fill and a stroke. Uh, if I want it to have a stroke, then I need to click on this icon to get rid of the fill and then click over to the stroke and click here to give it a color. Now you'll see that I have a black line. And I can continue this until I am happy with this line. Once I'm finished, then I press enter and then I'm ready to start on a new line. So I click with my anchor point. Let's make a curved line this time. Now I'm going to click and drag the mouse. And this is called a handle. So if I click and drag, then I'm controlling the curve. And the curve is created with these handles. You'll see that there are two, one where my mouse is and one on the other side. The farther I drag, the harsher the curve. Now I'm finished, oh, but I need to make sure that I um, press enter. So command Z to undo that. And now I can start again. I can kind of mix in between. I can click and do some curves and play around with what that looks like. That's just a click and here's a curve and another curve. Go ahead and play around with this uh, pen tool a little bit. Get yourself comfortable with it. Play around with the way that it works. This is all just exploring right now. So have fun. Use your mouse to move the uh, pen around the page and create some interesting lines. Now that you have a few lines on the page, about 10 or so, you may find that you've run out of room and you don't have any space to draw any more lines. So what we are going to do is select the move tool or the selection tool, the black arrow, and drag across all the lines that you've created. And then you're going to use the corner box to resize it. Now in order to get it to not distort your lines, you want to hold down shift and that will keep them the right proportion. Just resize them to be small enough for you to be able to fit about 20 lines on your page. Go ahead and create about 10 more lines for a total of 20. And if you have a pen tablet available to you, go ahead and play around with that. Use the pen tool to create um, 10 more lines, again for a total of 20, and see how that can work for you. Now that we have all of the lines created, we want to put some special names to these lines. Each one looks a little bit different, and I want you to kind of give it a creative name if it had one. So for example, this first one, um, I could just write zigzag, um, but try to come up with something a little bit different, something fun, something creative. When you are creating these, make sure that you have your text tool on the box and not the line. 
If you look at this one here, look at your text tool, remember that that little curve line means that you're going to be replacing the line with the text that you're going to type. So make sure that you have this box instead of the line that, um, that will show up if you're on a line when you're typing. Create some kind of interesting name for each one of these lines. And then once you finish that, you are finished with page one. Be sure that you don't get anything outside of the um, guides on the sides so that if we want to print it, we don't have to worry about anything getting cut off. Um, and then you should be ready for the next, next page.